नमस्कार टुडे वी विल टेक द कॉन्सनेंट दैट आर नॉट ट्रेडिशनली पार्ट ऑफ द संस्कृतिक लिंग्विस्टिक ट्रेडिशन दीज साउंड्स वर डेवलप्ड लेटर और इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इनटू हिंदी विद द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ पर्शियन एंड अरेबिक लैंग्वेजेस ऑल ऑफ दीज कॉन्सनेंट्स हैव अ डॉट अ नुक्ता बिलो नुक्ता मींस अ डॉट अंडर अ कॉन्सनेंट व्हेन दीज साउंड्स वर इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इनटू हिंदी द देवनागरी राइटिंग सिस्टम मॉडिफाइड इटसेल्फ बाय एडिंग अ नुक्ता अ डॉट below the already existing sound that was phonetically close to the introduced sounds let's take them one by one the most common ones are r and r the first one is r a retroflex flap sound the tongue curls back and touches the hard palate up and with the sound it falls r r this sound is hard to produce in isolation that's why it never comes in the beginning of a word the sound is r and it comes in many hindi words such as ladka meaning boy bada meaning big it is transliterated into roman as r a with a dot under the letter r and here you can see how it is handwritten it is written as a retroflex voice d with a nukta under the consonant r so keep in mind the sound is r r second one is r it is the aspirated counterpart of r just like the previous one r is also retroflex flap but this time along with the aspiration the tongue curls back touches the hard palate and with a puff of air it falls and makes the sound r r this consonant also never comes in the beginning of a word but it appears very commonly in many hindi words such as padhna meaning reading badhiya meaning excellent it is transliterated as r h a with a dot under the letter r and you can see how it is handwritten it is written like a retroflex voiced aspirate d but this time a dot underneath so the sound is r and please make sure that you always write nukta under r and r let's take the next two relatively common sounds z and f the traditional devanagari does not have these otherwise rather common sounds the z sound in hindi is represented by the consonant j with a dot a nukta underneath and here you can see how it is written similarly the f sound is also not traditional indic sound that's why it is absent in the devanagari writing system in hindi it is represented by the consonant p with a dot a nukta underneath here you can see how it is written keep in mind many hindi speakers do not pronounce or write these sounds they always replace z and f with j and p respectively you will find a lot of inconsistency in their use even in newspapers magazines tv and radio programs these sounds appear only in persian arabic and english loan words the last set of the dotted consonants are k kh g these are guttural sound produced deep inside the throat in this speaker extremely rarely pronounce these sounds and equally rarely write them they do not make the distinction between them and the velar sounds the k kh g are written as velar consonants with a dot under them you can see how they are written since they are extremely rare do not worry about making a mistake while pronouncing them or writing them with this we complete all the alphabets in hindi including the traditional devanagari letters and also the introduced perso arabic sounds in our next video we will learn how to combine consonants with vowels to make syllables नमस्कार